Hello and welcome to another Primavera P6 lesson by Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about how you can create interactive S curve, include early and late by combination of Primavera P6 data and Excel. First of all, you need to go to the project and open activity usage profile. Then, as you see over here, we have the curve combination of curve between baseline project labor unit, remaining labor unit, and the remaining late labor unit. So, how we can create this S curve by Excel? If you go to the activity detail, on the code tab, you can find the activity code over this project. Because we want to create a slicers for this curve, so the activity code is very important for this item. Right now, how you can collect the information from P6? You need to go to the activity usage a spreadsheet. Then these are the minimum requirement which you need to collect the information from the P6. Cumulative actual labor unit, cumulative baseline project labor unit, cumulative remaining early labor unit and cumulative remaining late labor unit and monthly data. So then I open the group and sort and remove the WBS and press apply. Open the columns, then insert activity code to the available data. Select the bottom left pane, use Ctrl A, then right click, copy. Then open the Excel. After that, you need to paste the data. This is your database. By this database, you can create this curve. How? Go to the insert and change it to the pivot. Select a spreadsheet and then add all your monthly information. This information collected over here by pivot. Then you need to reverse this chart like this and then go to the pivot chart select combo section and you have two type of chart first clustered column and cumulative information all the cumulative should be changed to the line or line with marker and be the secondary curve on this chart and all the monthly information should be changed to the clustered column then this is curve created please right click on the curve and hide all field bottom on the chart press this option then 
shift the all legend to the bottom side and you have some of 1st of January, some of 1st of February. Maybe renaming on this field is good idea. Sum of 0, 1 dash should be changed to the dot. As you see, all the axis title rename so at this time i want to cut this item and paste it over here then let's to check it on the print preview it is better to change it to the landscape. Let me to add a border. Okay, there. It is good idea to add a chart title. This chart title is labor unit S curve. But how this chart to be interactive? Select this chart, go to the Pivot Chart Analyze and insert a slicer. We have three type of activity code over here. It is better to select the phase and discipline. Then these two appear over here. You can add this one to here. and add this one here then for renaming title you can right click go to the slicer setting mod and modify the title on the caption and use hide item with no data then as you see, we have three phase on this project. So you can right click, go to the size and properties and on the position and layout, you can add another columns over here. Then for the discipline, need to right click, go to the slicer setting and again, modify the items. Go to the slicer, size and properties, and on position and layout, you can add three columns to be cover all the information. Then need to modify this chart and add a color to the background. Add some effect to this chart and to a slicers. Then, if you select the procurement data reflected, this is include all information for the procurement. Remaining early, you late and plan date if i filter the construction then you can find the information on the construction and this is for engineering 
all the scarves include early and late will be presented and you can find all the information over here and you can find interactive scarves by this pivot table thank you for watching global project control i hope this lesson is useful for you please keep in touch with my linkedin youtube instagram and facebook for further lesson also you can visit my website www globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.